So guys, the next part of the process would be the content optimizer. Now, after we create content, get it live on your website. It might not be 100%. You've done the best you can with Scalenut. You've optimized it using the tools, the SEO score and everything else that's been suggested. You place it in your website and it doesn't get to where you want it to be. It may be the top of page two, bottom of page one, wherever it may be. People don't often think to go back and further optimize the content. So this is where Content Optimizer comes in. Now, I've taken a URL from my website here, um, one of my last blog posts, and I put it into Scalenut. Now, what Scalenut does is goes and grabs the content and brings up that SEO score that we've seen when we were creating the content. Now, it's given this particular page a 73 out of 100 for what I'm trying to achieve. Now, we can see on here all the content and everything else. Um, now, it's given us the score on the right-hand side. We can look at the research. We can look at the competition. We can see the questions that people ask, statistics, and so on and so forth. Now, competition, uh, we can expand on that. Can we expand on this one, for example? What have they got? Can I um, go and, and grab um, that there uh, as a header to in my website and add that in? Of course I can. Um, so... We can look at that, we can further optimize this content, we can look at the key issues. We can add in a featured snippets question. Um, we can resume editing. That, you know, that one changes, taking my score from 73 up to 78. Um, I can add or replace the header one. I can replace it, convert to H2, convert that to H2, convert that to H2, convert that to H2. So there's lots of little changes that I can make to get that score way above where it needs to be. Now, keyword density is going to go on about, you know, you could add this and that. Content depth, it's going to give us um, how decent the content is. Header two, should I, I, you know, I should have Google in there, I should have SEO in there, I should have keywords in there, I should have analytics in there. Um, so we can tick um, all of those um, and again, improve the score. And again, the, the, the header one issue, again, we can go through all of these and it, sh it will eventually get your SEO score up. Um, and that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that anything that the tool is suggest suggesting from an AI perspective, analyzing other data, it is going to allow us to continually grow that score. Uh, and you can see I've now got it up to 82 out of 100 by adding in some key terms. So we continue to make sure that we fix all of those issues and constantly refine that content we can see the competition. We can see uh, the questions that we, the, what is a traffic bot? Someone might want to know. Um, we can stick in, can you generate web traffic by using a traffic bot? Um, we can throw in some statistics. Um, again, something that may, we, we may want to, to chuck in there. And as I say, look at the competition. What are these guys doing? What, what sort of subheadings and everything are they adding? Now, when we click on this stuff, you can see that Scalenut is basically adding this stuff in and adding in a paragraph of content. So again, um, you know, my score will be increasing all of the time as I constantly optimize and refine the content that's out there. And I think that's really important. People always talk about adding more and more content to a website. Go in and fine tune and optimize the hell out of what's in front of you uh, and the stuff that's performing reasonably well. How can we get a little step up uh, on, on, you know, higher up onto page one? And fine tuning that content is the answer. So 
That is what Content Optimizer does on ScaleNut. And you just constantly work your way through that and try and tick all of the boxes you possibly can whilst using your common sense as well. You don't have to take on every single change, but we want to do as many as we can and get that SEO score up. <music>